Thank you, everyone, for coming to Mahout Con, the Mahout track of Apache Con at home. It's been a, a lot of fun putting this on. I really appreciate everyone who's given the talks. Um, learned a lot of a lot of a lot of cool stuff. Uh, saw some stuff from some new presenters that I hope we will be able to get integrated in soon. Um, but in this talk, which I'm probably going to run short, and that's fine. I want to talk about you know the state of the project. Um, Andrew said on the last talk uh, that I we're waiting for official board confirmation, but I'm going to be the um, next chair. So I guess it. I want to talk about you know where we've come, from, where we've been for the last year or two, and what I'm hoping to work on, um, and that we as a community also work on over the next uh, 12 to 24 months. That said. It's a community. Uh, I can provide direction, but if somebody comes through and wants to work on some other cool stuff, that's cool. Um, I was joking on an internal Slack channel, but I have no intention of bucking the Apache way and becoming, well, I was going to say a malevolent dictator, but a dictator of any sort. Um, so yeah, that said, let's get started. Oh, I already said, you know, where have we been? Where are we going? And that's really what this is all about. Um, so I guess let's look at where we've been. Um, over the last 24 months, there was a build a, basically a big refactoring and then having a really hard time releasing the next point release. We, we did a release 14. We didn't have binaries because something got messed up when we did the, well, we first, we did the big refactor. We did a big refactor um, that finally you know, moved the old MapReduce code into its own thing and it was it was deprecated since i think 10 before my time um so six years ago and we said okay this has been deprecated we're not going to break anything it's still there but we're demoting it from first class citizen it it exists but as far as i know nobody active on the project knows how that works that is the old magic and so part a big part of that refactor was like Let's put the old, let's let's label the old magic as such. These are things that is are not being maintained. We don't even really know how they work, so use it your own risk. Um, doing that, the build was MacGyvered together over twelve years uh, by, as I think I've seen some, some of the older PMC say, mathematicians that were just kind of good at hacking things. Um, a lot of those hacks have now been formalized into proper build plugins, and it, we were just overdue for a build, a uh, rehab, a rehab of our palms. And Chris Dutz did an amazing job doing that in the last uh, few weeks, uh, well, maybe a couple months. I forget how long ago it was he came on. Um, but yeah, it helped us out a ton with all of that. And we were finally, I think, within the last 48 hours, we have all our votes. We're now going to have 14.1, hopefully, really, like announced and released soon, um, which has its binaries. Everything's working right. Um, everything's up to snuff. And that's really great because it's hard to maintain momentum and keeping people interested when you're just slogging a never-ending battle trying to get a passing build. That's not fun new, fe fun new features and things like that are like what keep people interested and excited a lot about open just building you know software for free and when you're constantly fighting this chore of trying to get a release out it it, it takes a lot of the wind out of the sail so for, again super super grateful uh to chris for that and that brings us into you know okay cool so what um are we going to be doing for the next like what's next so the builds are in much better shape um but you might have noticed Jenkins went down. Uh, we're moving into Git Actions. There are issues with that. There, right now, if you make updates to the website, those do not build. Um, we need to get info involved. We need to get some tokens. Um, we just need to get all that worked out. We've got continuous. We're, we're continuously. We're still migrating from Jenkins to Git Actions. Um, it will work, but we've been kind of mainly focused on the build. So a lot of this stuff is just taking second place taken backseat 
to the more pressing issue of, again, getting the uh, build working. But now that that's done, finishing that migration and making it and getting it looking right is a high priority. The next thing um, that we need to do once we have a website up is we found a lot of issues with the docs. Um, things that talk about how the relics of docs from like version 010 that apparently no one's looked at or updated. We updated the website and we just sort of did a mass copy paste job um, updating to the new website. And we need to go through and update a lot of things we need to, there's there's old broken math jacks. There's, uh, we were talking about like opportunities for committers. If you're good with Git actions, great opportunity. If you can just find, you know, like, oh, hey, there's broke math jacks, here's the fix, cool. That's like a very, very useful thing. Updating the Wikipedia, also something that looks like it was last done probably around 010. Um, someone just needs to get in and do that. Um, and there's a lot of other spaces in the world that keep referring to Mahout as, you know, MapReduce because no one's been there to update it since that was true. Um, and finding those things and doing it, that's another uh, great opportunity. Um, but we can't wait for people to come on to do that. We also need to like just be taking a little more active role ourselves. And so that's a secondary priority, I would say, but it's still definitely a priority is updating how we face the world with that. The third um, new feature, and Andrew was talking about this on the last one and something I've been thinking for a while, you know, Python is, the def is turning into the de facto standard for data science and having Python bindings are, would be a, a serious um, step forward for Mahout. Um, and I've talked to Holden who did a lot of the Python bindings for PySpark. And I think she can help. Um, and I'll, I'm probably gonna take lead on that. Again, getting the CI up and website is highest priority. And then, you know, starting work on the docs and Wikipedia, but this is gonna be, um, I'm hoping in the next couple months that I'll personally start working on this. And anybody who's interested in learning about how Java Python bindings work, I've heard that it's a um, unpleasant thing to do, um, but I think is a necessary next step and um, looking forward to getting cracking on that and figuring it out because unpleasant though it may be, I think it will be a huge, huge boost for the project. This Docker container I built basically uh, a couple of weeks ago. I want to formalize that out. Um, Apache has proper Docker container releasing stuff. I'm gonna get with him for next week. I wanna figure out what it's gonna take to, okay, let's build this Docker container. Let's push it to um, the Apache Docker repo so that getting started with Mahout is as simple as a Docker pull and then a Docker run with a port forwarding and you fire up a Docker container. We have some custom notebooks in there that um, everything works. We're then we're not then tied to Zeppelin's release cycle and how they update Spark, and then we have to update Spark to keep up. We have a Docker container. We have a container that we own, and even if Zeppelin updates three times and we only update once, we know that the getting started container works. Um, this would be a divergence from the way it currently works, where there is a build script and some other janky background stuff that doesn't necessarily work. And I'm not even sure what the status on it is, but yeah, having a Docker container that you can pull and you can start using Mahout, um, I think would be a great next step and has the examples of doing some Mahout uh, work and then being able to pass that over to use like R or Python to like visualize it. And then even better if we were able to get, you know, we'll probably do some sneak root peeks as we get Python bindings, like you can, this is, you know, definitely beta, but if you want to play with the Python bindings, here's a here's some cells that show how that works and let us know what you think. Uh, data reusability work, Arrow, et cetera. Again, things we've been talking about for a long time. If you know Arrow and you're interested in this stuff, cool, jump on the mailing list. Um, let's start talking about that because we have a release product now. We've got we've, we've gotten over that major hump that's jammed us up for the last, again, 12, 18, 20, 24 months, we've just been stuck. So now's the time we can finally start, you know, whatever is something cool that you want to work on. Great. We can start doing that now. Um, and, and I'm excited. I think this is going to be awesome. I'm excited to start writing features again, instead of logging in and be like, ah, 
All right, let's spend another few hours hacking at this build and maybe we'll get something working. Um, that's, again, it's just, it was, it, it takes the wind out of your sails. But this, you know, doing cool stuff like this, I, I don't know about you, but it gets me motivated and um, I'm excited for it. So with that, I'm going to go to the whatever for questions. That's not the right thing. Um. Thank you. Thank you again, uh, Musulman, um, for nominating me. Okay, my thing's off. All right, cool. So I'm seeing a bunch of people, um, and I'm sure I didn't answer everything, and I'm sure I caused more questions than I even might have answered. So open floor. Thoughts, uh, feedback, other questions, things you're interested in seeing, uh, feel free to type in the little uh, chat thing. Make sure you're on session, not event, or check i'll i've also been watching um the apache con the hoot channel so whatever you want but i would love to get some feedback because if no one gives me feedback i assume no one cares and i hope that's not true since there's eight of you in here Okay, well, I guess no one cares. Well, it hurts my feelings. All right. Agreed. Uh, Musulman says he'd love to hear viewers for what their interests are, and I would too. I... <laughs> um, yeah, please do. You know, these projects are communities, so like, even if it's like the, the first time, the sec first or second time you've heard of Mahout, but you said hey from what i get it doesn't do this or i'd love to learn more about that but i couldn't find anything or yeah open floor there are no wrong answers what do we got Okay. Oh, cool. Got two. I'm going to go Lauren uh, Lockridge just came up first. So I'll ask, answer hers first. <clears throat> Vision for future in terms of scientific advances. Um, so I don't know if you saw earlier, we uh, recently uh, published a paper. Um, actually, there was two papers that dropped on Mahout this year. Um, there's Sebastian's that was explicitly on Mahout and then I wrote one on denoising CT scans, but I think that's great. Like, right, like incorporating Mahout into scientific papers, I think is a great, um, let's call it marketing for lack of a better reason, because Mahout uses matrix algebra. It's a better fit than more black box uh, machine learning methods, uh, in my opinion. Um, but in terms of like, who's going to write, it, it's, um, Whoever is going to do the work gets to make the call on what the scientific advances are. Um, we saw one of the first talks that was in Spanish. He had devised bridge regression in Mahout. We're going to get that rolled in. So part of it, too, is not only encouraging people to do these things, but then also being aware of what was done and then helping them commit those algorithms back to the, um, the trunk. Um, let's see. A good source to learn about machine learning for programmers. Um, I'll obviously pitch uh, Palumbo and uh, Dimitri's book. Um, if someone can drop a link to that from uh, Amazon. And then I will also, of course, pitch my book. However, I wouldn't say at least my, I don't know that either are necessarily great machine learning. Um, Palumbo and Dimitri's book is, has a lot of good like distributed math. Um, mine is about productionalizing machine learning models, learning about machine learning for programmers. It depends what language you're going to be in, um, and exactly what you mean about what you want to learn. Uh, if you're trying to learn like for Python, it's one thing, Scala and Spark isn't docs maybe, um, or do you want to learn how to implement the algorithm or use the algorithm in a particular language? Do you understand? 
why does random forest work and why is, can it be better than what are the pros and cons of random forest versus like a um oh uh, uh, vector machines i forget what uh what another algorithm um so it's a loaded question um but actually scikit learn reading scikit learn docs um are a great overview of a lot of common algorithms that you can you can pick up pretty quick because they do a pretty good high level like hey here's the gist of what's going on in this algorithm and here's why i would use it against this other one so yeah scikit learn docs are a great place to learn about machine learning in general for programmers even if you end up using things besides scikit learn um multi-core yep we do have a lot of multi-core oh yeah the multi-core and gpu stuff that's also um <clears throat> uh, to Alexander, uh, that's fine. Do you have any people focusing specifically on onboarding new users? Yes and no. We all sort of try, but we don't have, nobody's getting paid. So we don't have anybody specifically dedicated to it. We all, I think, and feel free to contradict me if uh, you disagree, have sort of, not fiefdoms, but something like that parts of the project that we understand more than other people. And so if someone comes in and they're interested in a specific part, then that person will help onboard them because they understand it the best. For example, if you're interested in multi-core CPU and GPU execution, um, Andrew Plumbo is like really, really, really in depth on that. And he can speak to that a lot, lot more than I can. Um, I'm generally kind of keep up with what's going on there, but I couldn't, uh, it, I, I'd be in the same position as you and probably further behind if I started trying to do that. Um, so, yeah. Um, but we all try to do evangelism. I mean, this entire Mahukan was an evangelizing event. This is here to get other people interested in Mahout, so hopefully they go out and try it. Um, and then, okay, so... I'm back to Nicholas uh, Hendens. Okay, I want to understand how to apply algorithms to a given problem domain. It seems incredibly abstract. The problem domain or machine learning seems abstract. Nicholas. But I guess in general, um, if you're doing machine learning, your first or anything like this, your first question is going to be, are you trying, are you trying to categorize something or are you trying to guess a number? Um, and from there, it kind of depends on how much the math you have. And it's, I would say that the approach differs it's, it's, it's going to be a different route for everyone, and it's going to be a function of how much math you have, uh, how much math background you have. Um, there's simple ways, and a simple way might be better than nothing. And a lot of times, a simple, may, might, a simple way that you can productionalize might be better than a complex way that's much, much more accurate. Um, without knowing what problem domain you have, it's kind of hard to know, but I would say find someone and you, you can see on the last talk, Pat was talking about, okay, weather data on energy consumption. Perfect. All right. That I can, that's concrete enough. I can give it, I can pontificate on. Um, you're probably going to want to like, let's, let me say in a very simple model, you want to see does energy consumption go up or down? with weather or given a set of weather, how much energy consumption do you predict in kilowatt hours? Cool. Regression problem. I, you could start and in fact, you arguably should start simple regression. Um, then you can get into, you can read and find other algorithms and you can find more specific, um, algorithms that would be applicable. Um, there's a re like, um, first order, a that basically just means that like 
you look at what like one of your inputs is what was just happening um there's but there's like an um is is wide of a field as programming is math is i would say just as wide if not wider so i can't tell you exactly but like you want to start with a simple simple model and then a b test and tried more complicated models and make that decision is this more more complicated model giving me enough a high enough increase in accuracy that it justifies the additional complexity of the model that i've introduced that's my personal one-liner on how to get started and so don't feel overwhelmed by the math because and and a lot of seasoned data scientists will make this mistake too they will try to go for like oh let's use deep learning what could go wrong but that's a bad that's a bad first step that's that's a bad first step a simple simple model that maybe isn't perfect but is easy to productionalize and easy to understand where it's going to go wrong i think significantly outweigh is more valuable than a complicated black box model that's very accurate that's my two cents and you'll find plenty of people to disagree with me um but again just my yeah so um other other questions i do appreciate everyone who has so far is everyone uh is everyone on the uh, mailing list is anyone on the mailing list Has anyone joined the mailing list because of, uh, or planning on joining the mailing list because of Mahukan? Well, I hope everyone does join. Um, we, again, think breaking out that uh, Docker container soon will definitely ease the onboarding process for everyone, which, <laughs> nice. Uh, I appreciate it, Chris. <laughs> Um, I think the Docker, I'm hoping the Docker and Zeppelin will make this a lot easier for people to dip their toes in the Mahout waters. Um, I definitely appreciate everyone coming to all of our events. Please do join the mailing list to keep these conversations going. We also have a cha Slack channel on um, the Apache Mahout, or I'm sorry, on the Apache Slack, the Apache Slack, I forget what you call it. We have a channel on the ASF Slack. I think that's the right way that's the right verbiage so feel free to reach out to us on there um if you're using the hoot and you're having any problems we're all uh, more than happy to help just set like uh, andrew said we're all volunteers so if we don't answer right away we might just be working our regular day jobs and we don't we'll, we will get to it when we got a minute so thank you again um and i guess until next year happy mahooning everyone Bye.